Hello and welcome to this video about generative components, built-in application in Open Buildings Designer, which allows you working with computational design. In this episode, we will describe the interface of the application and basic knowledge which allows you to start your design. To start a project, in GC, it is required to set up base coordinate system. The coordinate system controls the direction of X, Y and Z coordinates. The base coordinate system, base CS, is typically the first node to be placed in a model and is located at the model origin. Only one coordinate system named base CS can exist in a DGN. You can select base CS from place geometry toolbar. When you create the base CS with the create base CS tool, you are prompted to select a model in your DGN to place the base CS in. Existing models are displayed as well as an option to create a new model and place the base CS at its origin simultaneously. Open Buildings Generative Components is a combination of working with 3D views, which shows a graphical representation of your model, and the graph, which shows and manages the relationships among the components of your model. When we create base CS, its graphical representation show up in 3D view, as well as in the graph, where it is shown in the form of so-called nodes. The node is a central concept to GC. The GC workflow requires you to construct the model from the number of elements or nodes. Nodes can be geometry such as a line, a curve or a point. They can be data such as a slider to specific length. Or they can be a process such as exporting data to Excel. The graph also has wires drawn between the nodes. These wires represent the driving relationship between the nodes. On site, there is a node types panel used to create new nodes and new nodes techniques. There are three types of nodes simple geometry like point, line, solid, etc. Open building designer geometry like wall, slide, and utility, where you can find nodes which help you build, control, and analyze your model like slider, watch, etc. To use a node, you can click on it and it automatically appear on the graph or drag and drop it on the graph in a suitable location. Next step will be to select a technique. Each node type has a set of techniques provided to use to create that node type. Techniques define how a node is created and the inputs that will be required to create the geometry. You can select the technique from drop-down menu or right-click directly in the node type panel on the proper node type and select the technique. Each technique has specific inputs required. In this case, you have to attach start point and endpoint to create a line. Transaction panel is a second central concept of generative components. 
It contains controls for recording a series of transactions that contain the instruction of how to construct the user's geometry and associative content. It's simply the instruction how computer is thinking. Transactions are recorded and represented in the transactions dialog, where they can be played and unplayed. There are also a couple tools to split, combine, rebuild transactions to fit your requires. You can also access the script to specific transaction by right-click, edit transaction, or a script of full project by selecting the editor icon. From this point, you can also share your project or load script from another file. Take a look that you can change geometry not only by typing in specific inputs, but also by using tools from Manipulate toolbar. All changes will be included in Transaction Panel. You can include them in your project, overwrite, delete or suppress. That was a basic knowledge which allows you to start your journey with generative components. We invite you to follow our channel and coming series of videos describing how to use Node's techniques.